uh, we'll get to as much correspondence as we can, but it's time to get another review out of the way. What are we doing next, Mark? Uh, Between Two Worlds, which is the new film starring Juliette Binoche. This is a French drama that was originally entitled... Now, my, we all know my French pronunciations are terrible, so it's a place, Wistraham. I'm looking to you for reassurance, but I'm getting none, but Wistraham. Wistrom. Phil Collins says Wistrom, so I'm sticking with that. Anyway, back to the review that we're getting out of the way. <laughs> so it's a French drama. It is based on a non-fiction uh, work by Florence Obanas, who went undercover as a cleaner. What she did was she was living in Paris. She went to another, another town where she wasn't known. And she got a job as a cleaner because she said, this is what she said about the book. We were all talking about the crisis that was going on without really knowing what to say about it or how to measure it. I decided to go to a French city where I have no ties to look anonymously for work. I kept my identity, my name, my papers. I registered for unemployment with only a baccalaureate as my luggage. I did not receive any allowance, and it was agreed that I would stop when my research was successful the day I landed a permanent contract so as not to be doing anybody else out of a permanent contract. This book tells the story of my quest. So in the film, which is co-written by Emmanuel Carrère, Juliette Binoche is Marianne, who arrives in Cannes, not Cannes, but Cannes, as no one, declaring that she will have no contact with her own life in Paris. She goes to a labor exchange, and the first thing that happens is they say, well, you know, what are your qualifications? And she tells them, and they say, well, basically the thing that's open to you is cleaning. And she says, I'll take it. And they say, well, they have to take you first. And you realize that even at that level of what she's looking to do, all the assumptions that she had about being able to walk into jobs completely wrong. So she, gets, she learns how to handle this floor cleaner, which is called the beast. She learns how to deal with cleaning toilets, both private and public. And there is a sense of camaraderie, but there is also a sense that she hasn't yet learned that what she really needs is a car. Now, when we did the show last week, I think it was, we had a foreign language film from which we didn't play a clip, and somebody wrote in and said, you know, you should basically play the foreign language clips because we can at least get a sense of what the film sounds like, even if you can't actually understand the French. So we're going to go with that. Obviously, if you're here in the, in the venue, you'll be able to see the subtitles. But for the listener, this is what the film sounds like en français. T'as une voiture, toi? On m'en parle pas. T'en as pas? Bon, pire que ça. J'en avais une. J'avais une Clio Baccarat, blanche, intérieur cuir, la classe, quoi. Tu sais ce qui s'est passé Vignette assurance périmée, ils me l'ont embarqué à la fourrière. Ils me demandaient 250 euros. Et comme je les avais pas, bah, ils ont gardé la voiture. Bah alors... Euh... Bah alors quoi bah, C'est fini. Ils la gardent et puis j'aurais plus jamais une voiture comme ça. Euh, elle valait combien ta voiture 1500 à l'Argus, 2000. But she does have, Richard, but she's pretending that she doesn't. She then discovers that the worst form of working as a cleaner is working on the ferries, which is described as a kind of commando job. And she goes and gets a job on the ferry. She says that what she wants to do is to make the invisible visible, and what she's trying to do is to bring the plight of people at the very bottom of the economic spectrum to a wider audience. But she's not telling them that that's what she's doing. And actually what the rest of the film then becomes is, you know that the, the pulp song, Common People, which is a brilliant song, and it has this whole refrain in it about you'll never live like common people, you'll never fail like common people, and, you know, because when roaches climb the wall, if you, you, know, if you call your dad, he can stop it all. And I've always thought it was a really brilliant song about the way... I mean, I was as guilty of this as anybody else. When I was, you know, when I was at university, it was that idea that, oh, you know, uh, I'll, you know, I'm doing a slummy job, which I was at one point, but I came from a background whereby I knew that that wasn't all that was open to me. I was living in Hume in Manchester, but it's very different living in Hume when you're at university and you know that that's only a limited part of your life. And so what the film is doing is, on the one hand, it's actually a kind of Ken Loach-like exploration of what it is like being at the very, very sharp end of that economic um, situation. But it's also, and I think more interestingly, about somebody pretending to be something they're not and about the ethics of doing that, and about the ethics of pretending to be somebody in that space. When you're not, you are going to step back into your life. I've seen a couple of reviews of the film that have been a bit sniffy about it, because they say, well, it's actually, it's not about the economic conditions, it's about her character's dilemma. But I think, actually, that's what made the film interesting, not least because I think Juliette Binoche does it really well. And I think the film balances that ambiguity really well. In terms of its depiction of what life is like at the harsh end of the economic um, you know, uh, 
crisis. It kind of reminded me of, I don't know whether any of you read any books by Pat Barker, like Blow Your House Down or Union Street, which are brilliant books, which I think do a similar job. Anyway, I think it's an interesting film. It's in cinemas. It's also on Curzon Home Cinema. Um, not everybody likes it as much as I do, but I thought it was really fascinating, not least because I thought that idea of pretending to be something you're not was powerfully done.